Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well considering the circumstances and this is probably and hopefully the only video I have to make on this subject but as much as I wanted to avoid talking about this at all because I think people need escapism and it's quite serious right now when it comes to the world at large so here we are. Now uh, I will say I'm probably going to sound like I'm depressed or something in this video, I'm not, I'm just extremely tired. I had a really long night because my job is Hard at the best of times, but right now it's really bad. I'll show you a picture in a minute of one of the shelves, or a section of shelves from uh, a supermarket that I go to, usually just before it closes. Almost the entire store looks like that right now. People are panic buying everything in the UK right now, because people in the UK are idiots. But yes, I should make it very clear, this is not going to be an entertaining video. I'm not going to be doing, you know, the entertaining YouTuber voice or anything like that. This is a little bit more my natural speaking voice, I guess, rather than like, Hey guys, how's it going? You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm exhausted, and this is a very serious topic. So, if you ain't about that life, if you ain't about hearing about how depressing things are in the world and stuff like that, and the situation with me and video games and YouTube and my job and blah blah blah, by all means, click off the video, I don't blame you. You need escapism, I understand that, and that's partly what I'm going to be talking about today. So, I've addressed this uh, at the beginning of a couple of my live streams, and that's that you will not hear me outside of this video, obviously, and like I said, I didn't want to have to make, even make this video, but here we are. You will not hear me, hopefully, talk about coronavirus, COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, the situation in general being shitty in the world, at all in any of my youtube videos you know any of the pre-recorded stuff any of the live streams i mean obviously if someone comes into the live stream and they directly want to say something to me i can't just ignore them but i have asked people in my chat that if people do start to talk about that type of thing that people kindly ask them to uh or, or it's, i guess not ask them necessarily but kindly remind them that jason really wants this to be escapism for him and his viewers and that he doesn't want to go into that depressing stuff. But, you know, obviously, I'm not going to be rude to people. I'll, I'll just try and say as little as I possibly can so we can move on quickly and get to, uh, you know, the video games. So, yes. In short, I want... And I did tweet this as well, but I know not all of you, all of you follow me on Twitter, but I'd recommend it. And also, uh, if you'd need escapism, even more so than that, follow a bunch of the uh, cosplay models, air quotes, that I follow. Just go to my follower list, like people that I follow. Just follow all the hot girls, and then you'll see lots of half-naked ladies jiggling around. And if that's your thing, and I suspect it will be most of, not all of you, but most of you will find that that's your thing, then Twitter's a much more, you know, interesting place and less depressing place, because you open up Twitter and you're like, hey, half-naked ladies. The world's not so bad. But yes, anyway, so I did tweet this. <laughs> and um, basically I tweeted saying that I have always and will continue to use my content as escapism. And I don't just mean for me, but it also is for me. But it's also for the viewers. I know there's a lot of people because over the years that I've done this, and I've done this for many years now, I get messages all the time that say, you know, your videos help me through a hard time or I binge watch them when I'm bored and stuff like that. And, that, I take that responsibility seriously. That may sound silly to some of you, but even if it's only a handful of people, if you are helping people, you are helping people. And when you're enjoying what you're doing, the process, everyone's a winner kind of thing, you know? So I enjoy doing it. And if people can use it as escapism from whatever may be going on in their lives or certainly what's going on in the world right now, all the better. So yes, I'm going to not talk about coronavirus, COVID-19, anything like that at all during any of my videos if I can avoid it. Again, this one being exempt because I'm just explaining the situation because there's a few things I do need to talk about. So very quickly, let's talk about my job. I, this is something I never really mention because my job is not great. Like, it's kind of dull and it's, it's not an interesting topic. You know, escapism, like I said. Who wants to talk about their boring job when they're not at their boring job? But here we are. So some of you are aware that I work in a warehouse. Essentially what I do is uh, we work as the middleman for supermarkets. I forgot the word there. For supermarkets. So, for example, let's say something like Tesco's or Morrison's or whatever, which are some of the major supermarkets in the UK, you know, the equivalent to like Walmart or whatever in the US. Let's say there's a Tesco's and they need pizzas and blah, blah, blah. They will be sent to us, you know, in bulk for certain stores. And then we have to send the right amount that that store has ordered to the store. So, you know, if they want 50 of this one type of pizza and, you know, 20 of this type of toilet paper, 
that's what we put on the pallets. We load them up. We put them with trucks. Boom. They are sent to the stores. So my job, much like the people that are actually working at those stores, is very important right now. Even though we may all hate our jobs and may hate them even more right now, it's a very important job because people need to eat. People need stuff. Now, I'll show you a picture right now. This was one section of shelves when I went into Morrison's that is near me. Morrison's is also one of the major supermarkets. People in this country are not just panic buying toilet roll like they are in basically every other country and soap. Like, you can't get toilet roll soap most of the time because people are idiots. They're panic buying basically everything, especially canned goods, like anything that's going to last a while. People in this country seem to think this is World War Three, and I realize we're one of the countries that went through the first two world wars, but I'm 33, I wasn't around then. My mother barely was, and she's about to be 70. And I'll go into that more in a minute. Um, so yeah, it's work is usually very tough, but it's especially tough right now. Like, I mean, at least my job is probably safe, but oh boy. Hard work. The very definition of hard work. Now, uh, speaking of my mother, she's almost 70, and she has a lung condition called COPD. I can't remember what it stands for, but essentially it's caused by smoking, and it means her lungs aren't as good as they should be, which means if she catches coronavirus, it's really bad. So I'm trying to wrap this woman up in, you know, bubble wrap right now, and then popping it, because bubble wrap's fun to pop. Here's me being entertaining again. Aren't I zany? <laughs> I should cut that part out, but I'm not going to. Anyway, so yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to wrap her up in cotton wool. We'll go with cotton wool, because that makes me less tempted to pump it. I'm trying to wrap her up in cotton wool, because, you know, I, I love my mother. I don't want her to keel over. So we're all doing our best. So I have to do shopping for her and stuff like that. I don't mind doing that, except that I hate shopping at the best of times, and it's absolute hell right now. When I went there, uh, and this was 9.30 in the morning on air quotes of work day, and I understand a lot of people have been given time off work, but a lot of people really haven't in my country. For the most part, they just said, if you can work from home, please do, but they haven't told people that they have to. So, yeah, you would think 9.30 in the morning on a work day wouldn't be as busy as it was. Oh, it fucking was. Uh, you could barely move physically anywhere in the store. It was, it was like a training rush hour, and I'm not really exaggerating. It was very close to that. And all the toilet paper and that stuff was gone already. Fortunately, I have my ways of getting these things because of my job and people that I know that work in supermarkets. So for the most part, we're going to be fine when it comes to buying things, but it's still a giant pain in the ass. But I feel sorry for the old ladies uh, or the people that have babies that need to get nappies for their babies. Nappies are diapers to you Americans because even the nappies are basically empty. It's like, what the fuck are people doing? Stop being a selfish, great British public. You're awful. You're fucking awful. I hate British people at the best times. Not all of them, obviously. When I say I hate people, I mean as a generalization. Obviously, I don't hate everybody. Just people as a species are terrible, <laughs> you know? And this further goes to prove it. People are selfish, pricks, and I hate them. Anyway, so, yes, Jason is more busy now than usual, even though a lot of people right now are less busy than usual. However... I'm still going to be streaming, and I have been streaming. I've been streaming Neo 2. It's been a lot of fun. And again, I'm trying to use this as escapism for me and my viewers. Please feel free to come hang out. We do need more people in the chat, because quite often chat just dies a death. And I understand people are watching and enjoying it, but it's nice to have people to interact with. So quite often when I'm live streaming, I just sort of have to go into YouTuber mode and just end up talking shit to myself for sometimes what feels like an hour at a time. Just like no one talking, and I'm like, all right, well... Hopefully the people here are enjoying it, but no one's talking, so I guess I'll just keep talking to myself and hope that people are listening and enjoying it. And It feels awkward for me, so it'd be nice if more people showed up and could just talk to me, but, you know, don't feel like you need to. It ain't, ain't like a charity thing. Uh, speaking of charity. <laughs> so, money. Um, I'm not going to say that money's, like, way tighter right now than it should be, however... I probably wouldn't have been able to buy four video games this month anyway, because that's fucking ridiculous. But I've already bought Neo 2. I wasn't really planning to, but then it suddenly came out, and I didn't know it was coming out, and I looked at reviews and stuff like that, and it it's Neo 1, but better. Neo 2 is incredible. It plays sort of a bit like Devil May Cry, but mixed with Dark Souls, mixed with a little bit sort of Bloodborne, a slight bit of Sekiro, a little bit Onimusha. It's a little bit like everything thrown in there, and it's really fun. Uh, so, one of the best video game purchases I've made in a while, I'm enjoying the shit out of it, you can probably tell that from the length of the live streams, I 
usually get bored of a video game even if i'm enjoying it after a couple of hours i need a break so the fact that i've been streaming neo 2 for like seven hours straight and then i, I only really end because i'm like if i don't get up and move i'm probably gonna die of a blood clot plus i gotta eat plus it's like two in the morning so i'd stream that game for longer if i could but it's probably better than i don't because you know health and all that health is important especially right now so yes Neo 2 is really fun, glad I bought it, I will absolutely be buying Final Fantasy 7, and that's already two expensive video games I have to buy this month, so what I'm saying is, yes I am going to play Resident Evil 3, yes I am going to play Doom Eternal, but Jason simply does not have the funding right now to be able to purchase those two video games, because i got to make sure i got extra money to buy expensive groceries, because only the expensive brands are left at the moment, because people are buying friggin' everything on the shelves, because people are selfish dicks in my country. So, yeah... There's an update on me and the situation with the coronavirus and blah, blah, blah. So, in short, Jace is not going to be talking about it on videos exempt from this one because I want my stuff to be escapism. The world may be shitty right now, but it's not going to last forever. Keep your chin up. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't cough around old people. Just avoid being within a, you know, a meter or more of old people if you can, unless you don't like them. Like, if they're, like, you know, an old pedophile or something, go cough all over them. Go cough all over the old pedophile. Be my guest. But if they're not a horrible old person, then try not to kill them, basically, because most young people are going to be fine. Not everybody, but most young people are going to be perfectly fine. So worry about the old people that you care about and cough on the old pedophiles. And now, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you later. And goodbye.